Um, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. I, I almost didn't make it. I was in a, basically unconscious for seven days in the hospital. I went in on June 1st, and I woke up on June 8th, you know, but uh, I survived. Good. So, so you're feeling better? Uh, I'm feeling better, yeah. Not, not in the pink, but uh, I'm okay right now. Well, yeah, you're probably not in the mood to be doing promotion for this movie. But... Oh, no, no. I want to do everything I can. Okay. It gives me something to do because right now I'm sort of, I'm sort of house-ridden. Uh, first of all, what, what do you think of uh, The End of the Century? Do you like it? Oh, yeah. I've loved this since the start. It's already gone through about 20 different edits, but I've always loved it, I always loved it all along. And I think it's a really good film, and it like, uh, portrays things pretty accurately. And uh, I'm just so happy to get it out finally. Uh, how involved were you then in the process? It sounds to me like you were more than just uh, you know part of the subject matter. Were you part of the production of it? No, no, no. You know, I, you know, I would I would talk to the director uh, regularly and you know just put in my two cents, but I always left it up to him totally. Uh, now I, I'd imagine this has been in the works for a while, but then when uh, Joey died and then uh, Dee Dee died, did that kind of throw uh, things off a bit? Is that why it took a while to come out? Yeah, more so when Joey died. Uh, it's been in the works for about eight, nine years. You know, once uh, Joey died, then we had to deal with Joey's estate, and uh, it just made things a little bit more, a little bit more complicated. You know, not just with them, but with our management too, and. You know, it was, just, uh, it was always, a, you know, but all that's not really very really important at this point. The important thing is that it finally got done, you know. That's just how we have to go through the process that you have to go through when, I guess, you're trying to get a movie out. Uh, I've been a Ramones fan for the longest time. They were the um, epitome of, of good time, fun, rock and roll band. What surprised me about the movie was that uh, it was very much a business. I got more of that out of it than you than four guys having fun playing rock and roll. Uh, well, it's both. I mean, you know, of course, it's your, it's your job, and you got to make a living out of it, and you don't want to, uh, after uh, 10, 15 years, you don't want to have to go find a job when you don't know how to do anything. So you really want to make sure it stays together and lasts, and you, you make the, mo the most of your opportunity. But at the same time, you know, it's a great job. And, uh, and, you know, it's a dream job. It's something that, you know, uh, you grow up, you want to do all, you know, all your life, and you never think it's possible. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a sickness, too. So, uh, a sickness in what way? Well, you, got, you, got to keep, you can't, you, you got to keep doing it. You can't, no one gets out, you know. I mean, we got out, but it's, People don't get out. They just once you get used to that feeling of uh, the fans, you know, and and being on the stage, it's very hard to step away from that. I I never could figure that out. I can't figure out why we're we're more popular now. Eight years after we retired, too, you know. Yeah. So uh, I I have no idea why we're more popular overseas. I can't. I, it was always beyond me. If we would have known, we would have figured out how to do be more popular in America. You know, that's yeah. how it goes. You know, uh, maybe they were more open towards it. I, I don't know. America's a tough market to crack. You need a lot of promotion. You need a lot of... Uh, it's a big country. Yeah. You know, and uh, if they can't relate to it, and if the record companies can't relate to it or the program people can't relate, there's a problem. Well, what do you think then with the second or third coming of punk rock, perhaps with, uh, you know, well, Green Day and Ranson a few years ago and now Blink-182 and some right. 41 bands like that, uh, they got, you know, they achieved success when you guys didn't. Did that piss you off or were oh, you no, scratching no. your head? No, you know, no. If, if anything ever bothered me, it's more or less our peers when we start and you see peers may become bigger, you know, if anything bothered me. But they had nothing to do with us either. You know, <laughs> people who come 20 years later, I don't care. I'm just happy to see rock and roll still alive and that people are still playing rock and roll and it's just not all rap music. So, you know, uh, I'm happy to see that, you know. It's, it's, it's all good for us in the, in the long run. Before I let you go, uh, another thing that uh, I got out of the movie, which I hadn't realized, was uh, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction speech where you said, God bless America, God bless George uh, George W. Bush. Um, the right wing is a somewhat underrepresented in rock and roll, don't you that's think? For that's for sure. 
Uh, and I don't know how you can have one job. Well, not just one job, rock and roll, but you also have in the movie business, too. How you can have 99% of the people all for one political organization. I just It's beyond me, you know. No matter what job it is, even if you're a policeman or a, a, a military person, you don't get 99%. You might get 75 80% might be Republicans, but uh, you don't get 99%. And, then, and, they, and they try to... Uh, uh, destroy you if they could because of uh, you don't agree with them, you know? Yeah. And we need all sides and we need moderation and, uh, you know, and probably something towards the middle is probably what's best. Well, Johnny, uh, uh, countless others and, and myself hold the Ramones very near and dear uh, to our hearts, so thanks for all that. Uh, I urge everyone to go and see the movie. And yeah, if go, go, yeah, go see the movie because... It's, 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 it's a really good movie. It's a powerful movie. If we're going to play a Ramones tune out of this interview, what will we play? Oh, you, you pick one. <laughs> okay. Dated, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Johnny Ramone, thanks. Talk thanks, to thanks you. a lot for calling Thank me. Thank you. Good talking to All you. All right, you too.